Good morning, hi friends. Welcome to High Up Time with Teacher Lori. It's me and you're you and I like you just the way you are. Anyway, parents, go get your coffee, your 10 minutes. I, oh, as I pull my mic up, I have my coffee. It's over here in my holiday mug and it says Mary. Yeah, Mary. Like Merry Holidays Merry and Merry Christmas. So, Today, this month, we're doing some thankful books and some books that are just kind of fun and some mesh together, some don't. But today is a holiday adventure. Over the river and through the woods, a holiday adventure. Now, however your Thanksgiving looks this year, if you're Zooming it, if you're Zooming cutting the turkey open with your relatives, if you choose to be together, if you have to go to your other parents' house because your parents don't have the same house, that's okay. It's still a holiday adventure and a tradition. And this book is lovely because it's made up of a really big family with lots of different people. And I love it. And I'm very thankful to read this book. And it's a very old song. Over the river and through the woods. It's usually over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh over the white and drifted snow. And I forgot the rest of the words. But teacher Lori and I have Ruby sitting here right here. We forgot to do our circle time hands. So let's get them ready. <gasps> Put Plus your hands, hands up. Plus Put your, your hands, hands down. Let's pound them first. Pound them very slowly. Pound them very fast. Put your hands up. Put your hands down. Clap them very slowly. Clap them very fast. Put your hands up. Put your hands down. Oh, let's snap. Snap them very slowly. Snap them very fast. Lay them in your lap. Thumbs up. Are you ready for a holiday adventure? I am too. Okay, I gotta scoot this way so I can show you these pictures. And the pictures are cool. Pack, oh, I forgot the first page. Tell me. No, no. Come to our house for the holidays and bring your favorite pie. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. Everybody got to go? Note. This year could be a Zoom email. You never know. Pack up the pooches and load the van. We need to leave by eight. There's so much to bring. Do we have everything? Come on. We can't be late. They got the pies, though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Into the tunnel across the bridge beyond the overpass. Dad mumbles, oh, oh, the fuel gauge is low. Looks like we need some gas. Mile after mile on two lane roads, no stations along the way. No gas, not a drop. We sputter, then stop. We start to walk, then. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh, yes. Into the lobby and out the door, the subway's down the street. A crowded ride, we're squished inside. Hey, ouch, you're on my feet. Sorry. Race through the station to catch the train. Quick, it's leaving soon. The gray city scene turns white and green. We should be there by noon. Arrive at the depot, we scramble out. We're almost there, hooray! The house isn't far, but there's no rental car. We head down the road then. <laughs> Off to the airport before the dawn. It's park, then dash, then wait. We coil and wind in a serpentine line. At last, we're at the gate. I know. Years before with the airports, we, we wait. Ah, it's a waiting. Over the mountains, above the plains, the buildings disappear. Then we circle around, and we're back on the ground. We'll take the bus from here. Beyond the village and past the farm, the shuttle begins to sway. A flat bad luck. No spare, we're stuck. Hey, what's that sound? Uh, that's a big four strong carriage on good me. Around the harbor and up the coast, through the waves and the salty air, we head for the dock. Look out, that's a rock. Whoa, we're halfway there and I want you to take a look. Look at the pie. I guess the girls got hungry. And look, there's a seal. Do you see the seal? Climb in the basket, release the ropes, and into the sky we rise. We float with the breeze above houses and trees. Hey, wait, where are the pies? Where are the pies? I think they're in their bellies. 
Drifting past forests and towards the fields, we land beside some hay. It's not far to go. We'll trudge through snow, but then you guessed it. Nay! Over the river and through the wood, the horses trotting fast. The sleigh bells ring. We laugh and sing to Grandma's house at last. Grandma is pacing, checking clocks. I hope they're all okay, says Grandpa. They're fine, just a little behind. And then you hear it. Yay! Pull in the driveway and storm the porch. This door swings open wide. A whoop, a cheer, a look who's here. It sure smells good inside. Haul in the duffels, unpack the pies, and thaw our frosty feet. We play and chat. The dogs chase the cat. Then Grandpa says, let's, let's eat. eat. Mm. Look, they have cocoa and marshmallows in your mini cocoa. I like it. Elbow to elbow, we gather round with thanks for our happy day, for family, for pie, for homes warm and dry, for friends, however that looks this year, and a horse-drawn sleigh. Nay! Nay! And there's a new, look at the big family picture of all those different people. So however this year looks for your Thanksgiving, we hope you, I hope you'll enjoy it and just remember to be thankful for each other. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for my daughters. I'm thankful that I get to bring Hive stories for you. It brings me joy and I'm thankful for that. So thank you. Please, if it's okay with your parents, whoever's in your household, to click the button below and subscribe to this channel so you can hear when new stories are coming. It's also helping me, Teacher Lori, reach a goal. And I will see you next time on High Time. But we gotta forget, Char, we gotta do it. Catch those bees. Zoop. And bring it home, a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me. Talking to my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm talking to my baby bumblebee. They said what? I'm sorry. How can I help you? Don't forget the pie. Have good listening ears. Follow directions. So much things can be said. I let go of my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I let go of my baby bumblebee. They're happy to be free. Bye, bumblebee. Bye, hive friends, and we'll see you next time on Hive Time. And I hope you have a glorious day. Homeschooling, non-schooling, relaxing, whatever you choose to do, make it a good one. I'm thankful for you, and I appreciate you. We'll see you next time.